Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Day. What kind of song was that? I don't it's know. It's our own song. I just made That's it what up. it is. It's our it's own song. It's Valentine's Day. Yay. Yay. And we are not home. No, we're filming this the night before. Yep. Because we are going to Catalina, Catalina Island. Island. Um, They're like, what is that? Really? <laughs> like, what, what is this? It's an island. It's a uh, small island off of the Pacific Coast here mm-hmm. in California. Yeah. Red's never been there. I've been there once. And um, I was younger though, I don't remember. So yeah. we're gonna go, what is it, zip lining? Yeah, we're gonna go zip lining, hiking, hiking. nice dinner, we're gonna spend a mm-hmm. the night there. And uh, we're gonna take a ferry there, we're gonna take a boat yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yay! Yeah, it's I'm gonna be excited. fun. Yay! Mm-hmm. I know, I've never been there, so I'm excited to see how it is. I'm excited to go. Yeah, it's been the a while. Island, yeah, the island is so small that people ride their bikes and There's no golf carts. Not- There's like hardly any cars. So. Hardly any car. Sorry about the noise. The neighbors are running around doing yeah, God knows I think, what. Uh, they're like constructing walls or something. I don't know. It sounds like sure they're just tearing down walls. Like and, <laughs> well, welcome to another episode of Peace of Quake and Red. Yeah. Red Quake Fridays. Uh, no. no. It's always going to be awkward until we come yeah. up with a name. I know. We haven't been able to find a good name for this. Q and A. With Q and R. Yeah. Q and A with Q and R. That sounds kind of catchy. Q and A with Q and R? Yeah. One of those. I don't know. I thought it was cute because it's a piece of quake, but it's really cake. You know, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Uh, some exciting news besides the fact that it's Valentine's Day. We put up the music parody today. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. There's the video right before this one. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Uh, a lot of people spend a lot of time on this. They uh, did an amazing job. I am just, the build, I was just blown the away The build by. is pretty amazing. And, and the I editing, go in the video there, editing is just really good too. And yeah. the, everything is good. Yeah, everything everybody is did good. an exceptional job. Exceptional? Exceptional. Is it exceptional mean like it's exceptional? That's like a C. No, it's you like... You did a great... Everyone did a great everybody job. Everybody did a good job, okay? <laughs> everybody did a great yeah. job. Yeah, no, it's like saying like you did like above and beyond. Is it? I don't know. It sounds weird to me. Exceptional. Oh. You did exceptional. I accept Whatever. you. <laughs> I accept you. I accept you. Yeah, but everybody did a great job. Yeah. Tip um, was great in singing in it. What no. did you guys think about her, oh, her singing no. techniques? My techniques? Her singing, uh, you know... The singing profession. No, singing, that's not a profession. I've done, that was the first time I've ever done it. Like the singing abilities. in a long time. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, you go uncle, check I mean, out the video. Your grandfather used to be a singer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and his she brothers. has. She has. But that doesn't mean I'm a singer. No, but you have music background. Not one me. way or another. History. Yeah. Family history. Yeah. Um. Anyways, go check that video out and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you what you think about it. Yeah. If you like it, leave a like. If you don't, don't not dislike it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you can if you want to, but whatever. Yeah. Um. Let's go ahead and get to some questions. We took these questions from Facebook. Yeah. Facebook Actually, last page. last uh week's post. Oh, you got so we got pull the questions from last week's post because we have we get so many questions each time, and there's so many questions that are missed. Yeah, each and time a, and a lot of the questions are really good, but we can't just answer yeah. all of them in one episode. Otherwise, we'd be here for an hour. Yeah, so questions. Um, you want to go ahead and ask the first one? Yeah, so Christina asked, uh, can you and Red give advice for victims of bullying? Sad face, heart. Aww. Um, bullying is rough. It's... I feel like it's gotten a lot worse over the years. Well, there's uh, like cyber maybe, bullying now. Or maybe they're just being... They, they speak about it more. Yeah, so people, uh, this is my opinion on people who bully. People who bully are very, very unhappy people. Uh, mm-hmm. They're, um, what's the word, insecure, very insecure. And they like to, uh, it's a way for them to channel their anger that they have inside or their insecurities out and try and just like it's basically bug somebody. They're like unhappy and they want to make you unhappy. Yeah, um, so will you, like some advice is, to not let them get you down, to not let them, because they, they want to see you unhappy and they want to see you angry. So the moment you, you see or you, you, you're getting bullied, 
um, I say just like either tell a teacher or just walk away from the person. Or I don't, ignore it. I would say it. to ignore it. Yeah. Don't, I don't. Talk about it with someone yeah that you trust parents or teacher yeah. or a counselor there's also like hotlines you could call and it's all like anonymous is there bully hotlines yeah there are. oh there is it's called child line or something oh like wow that. yeah i didn't yeah. even know that yeah i was looking into it a little bit but um yeah just, just keep your head up yeah and and when you surround yourself with good people the bullies like they'll go away like because they'll see like well this person surrounding himself with people who are supporting that person so they're gonna think twice about trying to bully you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I, bullying sucks. And yeah. if it's cyberbullying, that's even the worst. It's like, well, you think you're tough behind a screen. It's like, that's really, a, yeah. like, that's come on, just go away. You you just block people. Most yeah. things in social media now, you could just block people. So it's like, just don't. And I don't promote vi violence. Violence is like No, cool. I would never. Self-defense is different. Well, self-defense is different if someone's trying to hurt you. Yeah. yeah, and you defend yourself, that's different, but I would never promote like getting in a fight. Yeah. And, like That's rough. Don't don't do yeah. that. That's that's like if you're if you're, you know, if they're attacking you, then it's one thing to to self-defend yourself, but even then, it's like, just walk away if you can. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not cool. Um, yeah. um, next question comes from Kayla, and she says, My boyfriend and I currently live in Florida, and we are thinking of moving to California, but everyone is discouraging us by saying it's too expensive and we'll never make it. Do you have any tips or some advice for us? Um, so, California is expensive. It is expensive. Well, there's parts that are cheap. There's parts that are cheap. Yeah, there's parts that are very there's, cheap. There's parts that are super duper really expensive. Yeah, it's we like have... ridiculous. Yeah, um, we have a friend who's buying a house right now and pays half of what we pay, but she, uh, they live in a different area of, uh, L.A., um, and it's it cheaper. Really, yeah, it depends on where you live. Yeah. Uh, but... The thing about like um, moving out here is everybody thinks that you know. It depends what you're moving here for. Yeah, like the best piece of advice I could give you is um, have a job or something already lined up before mm -hmm. you get here because you don't want to get here and then not have a job and try and live off like your savings or whatever. That's the last thing you want to do. Yeah, no. No, um, don't do that. A lot of people are trying to get jobs here, so it's, if you have a job here already, then that's the best that's the best route to do or best option. Yeah, probably um, if you do come live over here, you probably will be paying a lot more and be living in a smaller place. Yep. So just be prepared to live in a smaller place. Yeah. And because uh, <laughs> yeah. people come from like the Midwest over here, or from like uh, sometimes play different places from the East Coast, and they're like. You pay this much for this place? Jeez, I could get a house over there that's like four times the size. It's like, yeah, yeah you can. But Location. It's like, yeah. Sunny California. Yeah. Location. <laughs> and the weather's great here. Yeah, and we have beaches. We can go to the beach. We can drive two hours and go to the snow. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I it's love great. It. Yeah, um, California is great. But yeah, those are the only tips that we have for you. It is going to be expensive, but as long as you have something lined up, you should be, be okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll be okay. Bring some sunscreen. Yep. Shorts. Shorts and sandals and yeah. sunglasses. And a sweater for maybe next week because it might get cold. Oh, this yeah. This week it's hot, but next week <laughs> it's cold. It's weird. Weird weather. Uh, okay, last question. Yeah. Uh, Ger Geraldine? Geraldine? Yeah, Geraldine asks, what is your favorite electronic when you were a kid? Also for Ed. Favorite yeah, electronic? So when I was really, really young... Uh, RC cars were that's considered electronic, right? The RC cars, oh, yeah, the ones remote, with the little, yeah, yeah. Remote control uh -huh. car. yeah. Mm. that was one, and Atari. When I was, oh man, when I, was I, didn't even, I didn't even play Atari, really? Jeez, you're old. No, dude, <laughs> just I just had gaming <laughs> systems growing up. I had like every gaming system. My parents would be um, like, You want to play games? Here you go, Atari. I'm like, Yay, little stick. I have to say, well, I just remembered um, when I was really younger, Tamagotchis. Oh, <laughs> Tamagotchi. That's old school. I used school. to collect the little eggs and I would play them all the time and Jeez, raise that's super little old Tamagotchi. Yeah. And then I, I used to have like a really old school Game Boy. 
Um, Tama- my Tamagotchi used to die on You had a Tamagotchi? Yeah. You just did not know how to raise I, it? I just, yeah, I, that's probably what it was. <laughs> I raised it for a little while and I was like, I died. Yeah. Game Boy was great too. Game Boy, I have. I remember the big, the fat, fat one. thick one. We still have yeah. it. My parents still have it. It's, yeah. It's, gonna, it's like an cool. antique. You gotta yeah. save it. It is. You gotta save it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, I can't really um, think of anything else that, that was like electronics. I think. I think I used to have one of those when I was really little. One of those little cars that you would sit in and and drive on the sidewalk. Oh. Power Wheels! Is that what it was? Dude, a no Power way! Wheel? Power Wheels was awesome! I had like a little Barbie one, I, yeah. I think. My neighbor, Maybe in my imagination, but I remember driving one. <laughs> my neighbor had one, and we used to drive it all the time, and then he did something to it, messed up like the little motor on it, and it wouldn't go anymore, so we would just push each other in it, because his parents were like, we're not buying you another one. I was like, well, we can still have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll learn how to have them. Yeah. We'll find a way. <laughs> Those are awesome, though. Those are really cool. I wonder what kind of like electron. Well, dude, now it's like iPads. Growing up, electronics are like oh, yeah, well, a tablet, it's my iPad. I'm your tablet. Yeah, it's like, like the, the, those are like the kids. That's like, so crazy! Oh no. god, we sound like old people. Yeah. No. But then when our no. parents were younger, they're like, we used to play with these toys, and it's like these crazy little with dolls the stick, and yeah, the stick making it into the thing. I'm like, and leaves. I'm like, what? <laughs> and the camera uh, stopped recording. Anyways, yeah, that's what, we were saying. what we were. Yeah, those were our favorite we electronics. Um, now we can go ahead and get to the gamer of the week. So, gamer of the week is another gamer slash nerd in the YouTube scene who I think needs a little more spotlight. And yep. this week, I actually found this gamer of the week on my own um, on my alternate channel, the Tiffy Quake channel. She left a comment on my video. And it had nine thumbs up, so I went to her channel and come to find out she's a gamer and she what? does DIY stuff too. That's so awesome. her channel is a girl with a plan, and her most recent video she made these really cool um, TARDIS Valentine's Day cards to give to your significant that's other. Cool. It was pretty awesome. She did a really great job. So oh, that's neat. she also does gameplay and she does like a bunch of random fun stuff on her channel. So go check her out if you guys are interested. Subscribing her if not, that's cool. You yeah, don't have to. That's cool. If you guys like to suggest someone, do you want to say this? Because I always say this. If you guys want to suggest, oh, if you guys want to suggest somebody, leave a comment below. Or should we say Facebook too? Facebook. No, Facebook? because I see some people uh, like they leave comments there too. Where uh, when they're gonna ask a question, they say like you know G O T W and then the name. Mm -hmm. Don't put it on there, I guess. It's just no, no. I think it's better just to below. have them on the comment section. Yeah. So we have it all in one section, you know. Yeah. Because we get it through social media too. Through Man, Twitter. you totally screwed up that line. Just be a G O T W and write the YouTube name and I'll go check it out. No, 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 no. You talk really <laughs> fast. I'm not talking really <laughs> fast. I just start to talk really loud and jumble things together, then it sounds like But it sounds clear, fast. though, oh. and it sounds fast. Okay. Well, that's it for today's episode. We are going to vlog for you guys this weekend when we go to Catalina. We're um, actually going to take a GoPro. Oh, we are. We're going to and we have the one, uh, we have the head strap, so you can put it on your head. There was a bubble. Did you see that? Did you blow the bubble? Yes. <laughs> that was weird. I've never done that before. I oh, my God. <laughs> it was like... I, I want to see the video. Like the footage and see yeah, how that I want to see that. Blown. It was like, don't. How did that happen? You just blew yeah. a bubble. Anyways. <laughs> I'll probably wear the uh, GoPro and then you wear it too on a couple of jumps. Sure. Yeah. I think yeah, I'll, I'll just like to fold it because I don't like that thing on my head. Okay. It doesn't stay because my hair I, just I, goes, I it just goes like this with they, my hair. Yeah, they probably have a polish that they're like. Oh, whatever. So Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kaplik. I'm Red. Bye. Bye.